Hey, what's going on? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can create two types of parallax effect for your website. Right now we are looking at a basic parallax effect that you can create only with simple CSS. And it actually looks pretty cool and you can create this very quickly with just CSS, right? And the other one is a little bit more more complex but you can see that it actually looks uh, very cool but because the image is uh, the background image is moving a little bit with when with the scroll so it looks pretty cool now the regular one it doesn't have that movement so um, maybe do you don't need it so if you don't need that movement uh, when you're scrolling then you can do this only with CSS now Let's go to the text editor because I want to show you how you can do this. And right now I have here an HTML file. You can see the only thing I have here is a CSS file and this the body is empty. And I have here uh, a CSS file and I created a container with uh, a width of 960 pixels. It's on the center. It's, uh, it's like a light gray. Some font size and padding. All right, you're going to see this how it looks later. So first thing I'm going to do here in the body, I'm going to actually create that container first. So let's create that with the with a class of container. All right. And now inside this container, I'm going to include my div that my parallax background will be added. So let's create a div with a class of parallax. It can be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be parallax this class can be whatever you want okay all right so now i need to go let's save it and now i need to go here and create that class parallax yep. and for example now we need to add that background that we want so let's say background url all right and inside here i have here three photos and I'm gonna add that one photo zero. So image photo zero dot jpg. And I don't wanna repeat this background, so no repeat. And I want my background position centered, so center. All right, another thing that we need is the background uh, size, which is down here to cover and we need background attachment that's the trick background attachment is not used often but if you want this effect you need to use it and need to you need to add fixed position this is what is kind of doing the trick for us and the background will stay in a fixed position and it will not move and it creates that parallax effect all right, so let's let add some height. So let's say 500, for example. So I think we are done, so let's save that. Let's go back to our HTML. And um, let's add some, I don't know, some paragraphs or something here. Oh, let's see, some paragraphs. So we can have, you know, some content so we can scroll down our website and see how it looks, right? Let's add some Lauren Ibsen. Let's let's add a little bit more. Let's copy this whole thing. Let's paste it right here down. All right. Now I think we have some content now to play with. All right. So let's go to the page. Let's reload the page. Let's see. All right. Let's scroll down and look at that. So it's that simple and of course it doesn't have that uh, cool movement that we can create with JavaScript. But it does the trick and it looks cool. So now you can see how the body is affecting, I mean the container is affecting, is have like gray and some padding and the, mass, the width of 960. All right. Okay, cool. Now I want to create this one which you can see is a little bit different. It have a little bit of more movement when you scroll and it looks very, very cool. 
All right, let's go there. Uh, remove this, this one and this one so we don't get confused, all right? I'm gonna save this and save that. All right, let's go back and let's follow some instructions. So it's saying that we need to add jQuery and the Parallax JS. So I'm gonna copy this. You need to download the file here, clicking this button. I already did it. I mean, and I have the file right here. You can see parallax.min.js. So that's the file that we need right now. So I'm just gonna paste it right here, whatever I copy. So this one is good. This is the jQuery and now I need to actually change this path because it's on my root folder and is dot min parallax parallax dot min dot js yep all right that's cool let's save that let's go back and keep following some instructions all right and you can see here that uh they're giving us uh the option to add everything right there in the html file or we can call some javascript and then we need to add some css so i'm gonna do the same thing we're gonna copy this Let's go back to the text editor. And I'm gonna put it right here. All right, so we have a class of parallax window. I'm just gonna name it parallax just like the one we did before. All right, oops. And in here you need to add that, uh, the your background image. So we have image, we're gonna add the same one. So photo zero dot JPG. Okay, that's looking cool. Let's save that. And now let's go back and let's see let's see what's happening here. All right, it's just a normal CSS. So let's copy. Let's paste it right here. It's called parallax, so let's remove that. Right now it said min height. Let's do it 500 instead. And this is very important, the background needs to be transparent. So if not, you're gonna see a color, like a white or whatever, okay? I'm gonna show you this later. So let's save. All right, looking good. Let's go back and reload this page. And it's not working, but don't worry. It's not because I made a mistake. The image is right there. The problem is that it's behind this container and let's see why, if we go back here and scroll down a little bit. All right, so they are giving us the option to add the C index, okay? So right now, it's negative 100, all right? So it's actually behind everything on the page, which it makes sense because um, the majority of the people that use this parallax effect, they want it on the background and they want to cover uh, sections like this one, for example. And it's a good way to make sure it's on the back of the page behind everything, right? But you can change that number. So they give us this option right here that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna copy this. And let's go back to the text editor, it's back here. And we can add it right here if you want to. So let's paste it. All right, so let's change it to one. So instead of negative uh, 100, let's save that. Let's go back. Let's reload the page. And now we have it. Look at that beauty. Yep. All right, so now let's add some text inside this uh, div with the parallax effects. So. I'm gonna go here. I'm just gonna copy this paragraph here. Let's paste it right there. And I'm gonna add a class to this one. We need to add some CSS to this paragraph. So let's add a class of, I don't know, info. All right, let's save that. All right, so info. All right. Now we need to add a C index to this paragraph because if not, it's not gonna show. We have a C index of one to the parallax. Let's add a two 
to this paragraph. Let's add a position of relative. And that's it, that's all we need. So, oh, one thing, I'm gonna remove this height. I, I don't want the height now. I'm gonna use uh, the padding of that paragraph. So let's save it and let's see how it looks. All right, and you can see here that we have the, par the parallax and the image is showing. Everything is working fine. So, but of course, um, it's kind of tight, so I'm gonna add some padding here so we have space and it's looking all good. So let's go back here. I'm gonna add padding to the whole parallax div. So let's say 100 pixels top and bottom and like 35 pixels left and right. All right, let's save it. Let's see how it looks looking a lot better let me change that to maybe a white color this paragraph here let's change it to white and now you can see that we have you know some more space and it's working just fine and it's looking beautiful all right and that's it Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.